shots fired, two Lincoln 31 shots fired. Well, I heard what sounded like gunshots. I would say four to five, and they were rapid. Good evening, everyone. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Tonight at 11, the police officer shot in the head responding to a domestic dispute is in the hospital breathing on his own. This all happened last night in Warren County. We brought it to you as breaking news. Clear Creek Township Police say 14 year old uh, veteran officer there, Eric Ney, and his sergeant answered calls to calm a man ramming his wife's car with an all-terrain vehicle and behind the gates of the Velocity Standard Breeds Warren County Farm. And when the officers arrived, they took fire. One round hit Officer Nate in the head. The other officer, a female sergeant, shot and killed the shooter. Officer Nay was flown to Miami Valley Hospital. We're told he is in stable but critical condition at this time. We have been following the story all day. And of course, last night, too, we are covering multiple angles on this for you tonight. First, let's look at the community's response. They have been flooding the police department and Officer Eric Nay's family with support all day. Our WCPO 9 News reporter Kendria LaFleur shows us how people are offering the officer's family the help they need. It's not just here, but surrounding communities are helping. In Springboro, a t-shirt company is showcasing a new design in honor of Officer Nay. You know, there's a lot of support in Springboro and, and Clear Creek. All of that. We, we come together a lot for um, times of need. It's exactly what 937 Inc. is doing. Their new t-shirt says, pray for Nay, a sign of support for his family during this time. What we can do to help the family with finances during all this. And, you know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot in store for him through his recovery. Within minutes of the shirt being posted. I think there's already been probably at least 70 some already. Orders started flooding in. Over in Vandalia, a flag raised at half staff at Officer Nay's church home. We've been told he's a man of faith who's very involved in his church at Vandalia Baptist Temple. A prayer service was held for him Wednesday evening. The church writing on Facebook, the family is facing an unthinkable circumstance and desperately in need of prayers. They said, quote, prayer is one of our greatest ways with which we can fight alongside those who are hurting. Pray with us as we ask God to do what only he can do. As Nay remains in the hospital, the community is hoping to bring some comfort to him and his family. No, it's really sad to hear it, obviously. Um, you know, just a lot of prayer and Hopefully um, everything I'm sure is going to be a long road to recovery. They plan on printing out those shirts sometime next week. Meanwhile, gift and gas cards are being collected to help the family commute back and forth to the hospital. Reporting for WCPO 9 News, I'm Kendria LaFleur.